Last time, you saw the process to get Sunny to Brazil. Here we go. We're going to check out of the country. Before we sail to Grenada, we make a last stop at the grocery store. We spend our last night walking along the tourist area of Praia do Jacare. Jacare means alligator in Portuguese. I'm told you won't actually see any alligators except this guy. <laughs> the next morning, we motored out the Pariba River, headed for Grenada, approximately 2,400 miles and 17 to 20 days away. Sunny, as our new crew member, how are you feeling? Are you nervous? No, I think he's pretty chill. He doesn't know what to expect. Are you excited? He's just happy to be with his people. That's really all he wants. John has completely enclosed the boat with net, except for the bow, which Sonny won't go up there on his own anyway. And we have this place set up so he can pee. And John's got it rigged with a rope right there, tied, that we can it overboard and flush it. So we'll see how that goes. We had some monumental moments along the way. On day five at 3.30 a.m. we crossed the equator. We had random squalls that had 35 to 45 knot winds, the highest we have experienced yet. I got to play with my new 360 camera toy. On day nine, we caught our first tuna ever, and I made sushi. On day 10, we had our fastest day, 205 nautical miles in a 24 hour period, with an average of 8.5 knots of speed over ground. So are you wondering why you're not seeing these most interesting videos that I've shot to date? It's because on day 11, in an attempt to be organized, I downloaded all, everything that I had taken so far. And I started to sort them into folders. And somehow I deleted the entire group. Oh! Yes, yes, there was a scream and there were tears. And I reached out to everybody I knew who gave me tons of great advice. Thank you all. But no matter what I tried, I just could not find those files on my hard drive. So, all the good stuff, the equator, the tuna we caught, it's all gone. So it'll just have to live up here. Okay, getting ready to do what we've done on most of this trip here. We're doing this, <clears throat> we're gonna shake a reef in the main. Uh, we're doing 12, 12, 13, six knots is the boat speed. I'm hoping to get that up to seven, eight when I shake the reef. So the first thing I do is I start the motors. Let them warm up. Okay, while the motors are warming up, then I'm going to furl the head sail. So in order to furl the head sail, first I release the furl, bring it in here, and then we release it. 
a sheet line. So you're going to furl in the wind on the head sail. Let out the sheet at the same time. We turn into the wind. So we've got to give her some throttle. Take it up to about 1800 RPMs. And turn us around. So push this 15 times. That should take us straight into the wind. sail to start flopping back and forth.
do sugar rings. Ta-da! Yay! Come back later, we'll put one back in. Okay, we'll be here.
Once the winds are steadily between 15 to 18 knots, we have to lower the jennifer. John goes forward to do this. He retrieves the jennifer bag from the storage compartment and attaches that bag to the trampoline. He gets the sock ready to lower. I get ready to release the port sheet. And when I do, all hell breaks loose. The wind was steadily rising as we did this, and we think something in the sock got twisted or jammed because John couldn't get it down. It's chaos. I'm at the helm, having a small panic attack, thinking I need to turn a different direction, but I don't know what to do or, or which way to go. John has to literally winch the sock down, but you can see the sheet lines flapping everywhere and they're wrapped all around each other. The 360 camera has this picture distorted, but the sock just isn't budging. By this time the winds are well over 20 knots, approaching 30, and right there you can see the first tear in the jenniker. It takes every bit of John's strength to winch the sock down. John is exhausted.
Finally, we have it down, and all he can do is just stuff the whole thing into its bag so we can get it repaired when we arrive in Grenada. Very early the next morning, I had a visitor. I am always so excited when the birds come to visit us at sea. We are 25 miles out from Grenada and the seas have gotten choppy and confused. Thank you for watching. Please join us next time as we explore Grenada.